than the righteous one. And that pisses me off to no end. <laughs> hey, and you always had perfect timing. You knew where to be, what to do, and when to do it. I loved being with you, Frank. It was a hell of a ride. Miss Johnson, why are you out here bothering me again? Uh, you know why. Damn it, uh, I need a place for me to live. We found an apartment for you. Me and my kids is in the street. Your son is a known felon. He was living with you. I, I told him to leave. You shouldn't have been there in the first place. I need help. I'm paying taxes. You're on welfare. You don't pay taxes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so now you think you're better than me. Huh? No, I'm not going to be gained by you. That's what I'm thinking. It was people like me that put your black ass in office, and we can take you out just as quick. Miss Johnson, I don't have the time. Oh, hell no. Don't you dare say you ain't got no time for me. You better find a way to make some time. I'm a citizen of this city. I was born in this city. I grew up on this street, and I've been struggling. I've been struggling from sun up to sundown just to put some food on my table. Now, don't say you ain't got no time for me. You're supposed to help me. Help yourself. Get a job, keep the kids in school, and most importantly, keep your legs closed. Mm. <laughs> Who do you think you is? You're trying to tell me how to live. Man, only four of those kids is mine. Two belong to my sister who's in rehab, and two to my cousin who is in prison. Now don't be trying to judge me, you hypocrite. Now, now listen to me. I grew up on the same streets as you and went to the same schools as you. Life is about choices, Miss Johnson. Every choice you've made has messed up not only your life, but the life of your children. And instead of you trying to take some kind of responsibility for it, you want somebody to cover for you. Like the single mother out here working two or three jobs to put some food on her family's table. Every son and daughter out here trying to grab a scholarship to college, playing basketball or running track, or hustling on a part-time paycheck, hoping that's a way out for their family. What you think you're going to embarrass me like last time uh, with all those pictures of you and your kids out there on the steps of my city hall, like this was some Charles Dickens or some shit, oh. getting all the white liberals and talk about the insensitive black male, unwilling to take care of his own people. You played that card pretty well. I took low for you that time, but not now. Or you gotta find some place for your family to live, or you can pitch that pup tent back up if you want. As a matter of fact, I hope that's exactly what you do. I've been waiting for a way to have your crazy ass crazy and unfit. Now, keep those kids off the street or see how fast I have every government agency I can muster coming down on you like hell fire. Before the night is over, you'll be under arrest and those kids will be in foster care. Your grandchildren will be collecting social security before you ever see any of your family again. Have I finally got it through to you, Miss Johnson? Are we finally on the same page? Have you crawled up out of that nut city fog you'd like to hide in long enough to hear me with the perfect <laughs> oh, he's just a cold bastard. Just one more reason for you to understand me. Now get out of here before I call security. No! See, you've been out here for years. You and all your friends just grab it and, and get it and keep it and reach it to your heart content. What's the matter? Foul blood and suffering. All the while you getting bigger and better and staying in office and running your mouth on TV. You act like we so dumb. Like we can't see what's going on. So you want to scam the city government to get even, is that it? Why shouldn't I? You doing it. <laughs> bigger and better than I ever could. Now why the little people got obey the rules when your big shots be breaking them every day? No, I'm gonna get mine just like you've been getting yours. You don't know a damn thing about me or what I do. What? You can't grow, Mr. Mayor. Oh, you may be able to get by, but you'll never grow. Because in the end, you won't do right by your people. And that's your curse. That's what's gonna pull you down to your knees every single time.